me, everybody. A really good question today about helping people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Claire. I'm seeing a person I care about struggling. Yeah, seeing the world is against them, playing out the patterns of their childhood. There are urges to point out where this person is getting things wrong and maybe to be their saviour even. Yeah, I love, great to see that. I see that ideas of me and of them are all over this. It's confusion for sure. Starting here, yeah, always, I can look to the ways that I do this, yeah. Does this mean not challenging the thinking of others ever? I want to ask if it's wrong to try to share the things this conversation has shown me, even though I know that question in itself contains the confusion. The confusion is suggesting to me that this whole dilemma is created from the idea of self and other. Any reflections? Yes, brilliant. So, so already the listener is um, is clear, really, isn't it? We can see that in the question. The the um, <clears throat> there's there's like a um, an opening up of of what's really going on when when we try to help someone. So it's really good, and I think there's two things that we can look at when it comes to using what we've seen in this conversation about self and behavior and thought and belief, reality, to help someone else. Because it's very natural that we want to, isn't it? Because chances are that there is a great deal of um, lighter experience of, of self and other and life and um, chances are the relationship here with, with mind, with thoughts and belief is dramatically different. And so, of course, we want to help someone else, particularly when, when that person is someone that we deeply care about, of course. So there's two things. And, and that thing about caring about someone is our, is our first um, watch out, really, because The first thing, the first question really is, what is the underlying motivation for wanting to help them? And this is really subtle, but what might be the underlying motivation is their suffering is causing me to suffer. So if I can help them, they will be okay, I'll be okay. And, and we might find this particularly when um, when we deeply care about someone and, and our happiness is sort of tangled up in theirs, we might find it when um, their behaviour might be affecting us. We want them to feel better and behave differently so that it can stop. It might be that there's um, an identification with them in terms of my role, um, you know, my my idea of me as a being a perfect mother is threatened when my child is unhappy. And for, for that sense of me, my role to be restored, they need to be happy. So these are these are amazing things to see and they're not easy because they they're sort of all hidden and confused in the idea of I love this person I want them to be okay but actually there are layers of entanglement and identity beneath that that when we get still with really our own suffering this is this is pointing all the way back to our own contraction when we see them when they say these things our own sense of defense or protection it's in there it's in there and and ironically the the moment we sit with someone and they 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 tell us how unhappy they are or you know or we see their patterns playing out and there isn't the slightest need for them to change in order for us to be okay then that is already starting to clean up it's it's starting to make things clear and the help that we give them 
is not confused anymore. It's not coming from this sort of um, sort of a misdirection of help, which is really only about me. If if I if I need you to be okay so that I can be okay, you you are totally irrelevant in this. This is this is the Claire show, and um, I can't even listen to you. I can't hear you. Or it's only about my suffering, ending my suffering. And um, you don't exist in that space, really. You're like a prop. You know, it sounds harsh, but you're a prop in the in the play of me being being what I th what I think I need to be to be okay, and having the world as I think it needs to be, so that I don't suffer. Yeah, imagine like help coming from that space does not get more confused really than that, does it? So that's the first thing, and and the listener really sees that. It's so brilliant. It it begins here. All help for anything out there begins here. What what is what is really the the motive for this help? So that's the first thing. Then the second thing is is also really cool and also really. <laughs> so confronting the second thing is the thing that i am telling this person to do or to believe or to understand where where is that totally obscured for me you know so so the good example there if I'm, I'm seeing my friend or my my loved one playing out old patterns from childhood okay and i want them i think they need to stop and then they'll be okay. So in it comes always. What, where in my life, where is their limitation? Where is their conflict? Where is their hopelessness? Where is their ill health? Where is their um, unhealthy, yeah, unhealthy behaviors and habits? Um, where are their fears? Where are their insecurities? Where are their shames? Where are their... Um, obstructions to um, the flow of love and and freedom because of patterns in my own childhood and for sure there will be <laughs> oh my goodness because if that's all we did instead of ever 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 trying to help anyone if that's all we did was look at how reality is reflecting back the the believed um, believed separation. That would that would be enough to change the world. That's that's where the world changes from. Is is that happening here? So so the things that I want you to know, the things that I want you to do differently before I even go anywhere near you, what, how is that happening for me? It starts here, it has to start here. For several reasons, not least because to begin with, we, it becomes clear how, how difficult that is, how hard it is to, for, for these patterns that have had a grip our entire lives you know like it, it doesn't happen with someone saying oh stop doing that you know that's just a pattern from your childhood stop doing that it happens from meeting those patterns as a reflection in reality over and over and over and over again meeting the suffering that's contained in them experiencing the feelings um, getting present to the, the the deep fears and the insecurities that are arising. That's that's how patterns change. And um and 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 so to do it for ourselves, to meet reality in that way every moment of every day. Is is to um, is to see how how uncomfortable it is 
to live in that discomfort and to see that it's it's such a a personal um a, a, a personal um endeavor it's not quite the right word but <clears throat> it's it, it has to come from within that it has to come from within and um yeah so we we do we live that for ourselves before we tell anyone we live it for ourselves and um that way we see how hard it is and the, the second reason for doing that is is total humility oh you know it's so easy it's so easy to tell someone what to do and we have that little mini reward little boost of I'm so, you know, I've got this, I'm, I'm on this spiritual path and I've seen this and that. And so I, I know this and I'm going to tell you what to do. And I get, and I get that little ego boost and they might read, you know, they might listen and, 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 you know, it's just like, oh, you know, here I am. But, but it's nonsense, isn't it? When we bring it in, when we really see all you know the very fact that we're seeing this in someone else and and that this looks like it's something that has to change that is like a banner saying where are you doing that claire what's what's the what's your often it's exactly the same it's exactly the same as the thing we're trying to tell them to change and if it's not exactly the same it's a really close um equivalent yeah so 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 humility is the is the outcome and that and that and humility is clean in a, in a conversation in a helping conversation humility is 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 like is like fresh air so beautiful to have to like to we are we are the same you and me we are we are the same there is no no levels going on here and and then the third reason for doing that, for, for reflecting it back on us, is um, to really start to, well, you know, it's a cliche, but to be the change. You know, when, when we have lived, you know, for some of us, we've lived through really traumatic um, conditioning where where what has emerged is an idea of self that is um so that feels so fractured and so um so that it feels so separate and to from that space to heal and to meet what arises in a way that it's 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 showing these believed limitations that can now start to fall away when when we do that we are changing the world we're we're showing the person we don't have to tell anyone how to do it we're we're in every word we say in every um every behavior we exhibit in every way we meet every challenge in every way that buttons are pressed and there is presence to that instead of um, blindness. You know, there's, we're starting, oh my goodness, there's, there's no words for how powerful that is. Because that's what people, um, not least because it changes the way other people are held that that inner healing of our own um conditioned belief system is 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 transforming the way the world appears isn't it because before it was looked at through this distorted lens of fear and insecurity and shame but as that shifts then then the person i'm trying to help is different you know this this oh sorry that's what's so um that's what's so transformational is is the change is literally coming because 
the world is different from from the healed space from that space of wholeness it's no longer a world that has to make me okay so so these are all like this is this is how um this is our orientation now it's it's not out there i'm going to change the world it's no the world is going to continue to show what's real it's going to continue to show limitation and barriers and obstacles and separation and we let that happen and then and then increasingly the way we interact with other people is is reality it's love interacting with love freedom interacting with freedom it's a it's a mirror of the 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 peace and wholeness that we are and then um yeah and and then it's, we're just speaking to ourselves which is what we always are doing anyway yeah such a great question and i and i love i love what you're seeing in it beautiful so thank you so much darling bye